Hey everyone. Hello. Good morning. Are we live? I think we're live. All right, good deal. Good morning. It's live at 11.05 because what is this month? Surger month. National Surger month. Yes. And Baby Lock, as we know, is the queen and king and of all surgers. Yes. Like, they brought the first surger to the home market. Yeah. 55 years, years ago. ago. <laughs> so they have, we are debuting. We gave a sneak peek yesterday. Mm -hmm. We are debuting the new serger from Baby Lock. This is uh, really special. I really like the serger. Yeah. I really do. I play yeah. with it and I like it. And it has one thing that I'm not so crazy about, and it's the wave stitch. Yeah. Yes. And you know, that's previously only been available on significantly larger sergers. Right. But this special edition is somewhere above the victory. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit smaller than the acclaim, but it has the wave stitch and the price point is incredible. Really good. To get those features. It yes. is really nice. So we're going to be talking about the new 55th anniversary surgery from Baby Lock. We're going to be talking, we're going to bring in Baby Lock educators, Linda Patini and Mike Johns here in just a minute, and they are going to do a whole presentation on all things surger. But this presentation was done before the new surger came out. So mom is going to show the new surger, the new 55th anniversary surger, mm -hmm. Linda and John are going to show the whole baby lock lineup of surgers. So mm -hmm. what is what is it they're going to talk about? And what is it that is such a mystery about surgers? Well, so many people, and I was this way too mm -hmm. a long time ago. I thought, well, that's nice. That's a nice thing to have because it finishes off the raw edges yeah. of your fabric that right. you're sewing. You know, right. if you're making a dress or something, you can just seam it and finish off the right. right. Oh, there is so much more that a surger can do. It can do beautiful decorative finishes. It can do binding. It can do um, hemming. It can do uh, turning and uh, decorating in one stitch. It can surge through very, very thick fabrics. It can use threads that a sewing machine cannot handle, like thick, metallic, decorative mm -hmm. threads yes. that you can put on the edges and on. you can quilt with a serger. I mean, I could just go on yeah. for forever. Yeah. It's Speaking of quilting with the serger, before I go any further, let's don't forget about um, our quilting class that's coming up. Uh, this is super fun. If you want to use your surgery, if you have a baby lock surger and you want to learn the techniques, this is a three-part series, and the last class is going to be the catch-up and assembly. Just know that there are classes. This is a great way to learn your serger, whether you want to make a quilt or not. Uh, she's going to teach surgery crochet. Grab that quilt real fast. This class is coming up. The next one's the log cabin block. So whether or not you want to learn how to quilt with your serger, this is great practice. So okay. it doesn't matter what baby lock surgery you have. You need to take this class. All right. So look at this. This this is a wow factor to me. Did you know you can make serger crochet? crochet. This trim was completely made on the serger. Crazy. That's yes. just thread. And you only need a four thread serger to do this oh, class. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you and can so have a four thread or an eight thread serger. Or an eight, either one. But all so, these blocks were made and assembled on the serger. Okay. So they, she's going to do the bow tie. She did the bow tie block. She's doing serger crochet. I'm doing a terrible job showing this. But um, but you can see on the back, this was completely Ooh, showing pieced. the back. It's like, like showing all, your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but it, look how beautifully the blocks are finished on the back. There's no raveling. Yes. They're perfectly clean. And you can get a perfect quarter inch seam on a serger. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, Y'all just don't know. Okay. So let's uh, talk about the, we have a lot of specials. So, and we're going to do a lot of giveaways. We are going to give away a $50 gift card to the store at the end of the presentation. So y'all hang on um, after Linda talks, after John uh uh, Mike John's talks, we are going to give away a $50 gift card. But in the meantime, we're going to give away some other stuff. And so the only way we know you're watching is to comment, and then we will scroll through the comments. We'll pick a random person, uh, semi-random, because we will count between 1 and 10. Long story short, we're going to be doing some giveaways. So comment, and that's how um, you can win. And we see some people commenting already. Yes. Look. 
Ryan from Madison, Mississippi. Not far from us. Great. Good to see you. Hey, Stacy. Good morning. Stacy is the proud new owner of a new surgery. Stacy is the first. She's going to kill me for calling her out. She's the first to purchase uh, the 55th anniversary new surger. Uh. Okay. So it's not even here yet. They are special order only. Yeah. Uh, and they're super special. We're going to show them just in a second. You're going to be wowed by this uh, new surger. Uh, and uh, who else is watching? Oh, Regina, Regina Sandra. Weta, Sandra, Janie. Yes. Hey, Janie. Uh, Janie owns a Triumph Surger, don't you? It's a pretty lady. Okay. Barker, and Lisa. Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, great. So y'all keep commenting because that's how you're going to um, get a chance to win. And I have a five-page document of all of the things that are on sale. So if you miss part of this presentation, if, you, if you're watching this later, you can fast forward through the part that you want to see. But just know that each of our sergers are, um, have a special or on sale. The Triumph Surger has a $500 rebate. And it's on sale. And it's on sale. Uh, let me just show you um, some of the specials real fast. Okay, real quick. The new 55th anniversary surger comes with free stuff. Uh, the koala cabinet that that you can get for your surger is on sale. The um, uh, free stuff, free stuff, free, free stuff. stuff. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, oh, there's the five hundred dollar rebate for the Triumph surger. Hey, they are going to send you a five hundred dollar Visa gift card. Baby lock will. Yep. Uh, and I'm giving away other free stuff with the Triumph. Uh, you got to come in to see all that. There's a two hundred fifty dollar rebate with the Accolade surger. Okay, so the Accolade surger is on sale. I'm giving away a foot kit, an inspirational guide. You get a $250 rebate. Um, I can't even say all the stuff that we are giving away. Okay, so it's National Surger Month. Let's talk about the new surger. All right. Okay, this is, what's it called? The 55th Anniversary Surger. So it doesn't have a name. No, it does, it's not like a victory or an acclaim. Or it's the 55th, 55th Anniversary, anniversary <laughs> Surger. Okay, so there are a limited number of these. They are only yeah. printing, creating a, cert, a limited number of these. And so once they're gone, they're gone. Mm -hmm. But it has a lot of the features that the other machines have, but at a great price point. So yes. let's talk about it. Okay, so it is a four thread serger mm -hmm. and it does all the great jet air threading. It has the extraordinary threading where you push okay. the button. Let me change the camera so you can see it up close because this is this is special. Okay. So you you push this button and a little electronic motor just shoots jet air thread through the goes and make the sound. It. Okay, so I'm all I'm okay, look at this hand wheel. Do you see it's green? Do you see the little features that are green? It's very retro. Very retro. Okay. So I'm gonna crank it. You gonna mess up my stitch. Did I mess you up? Okay, listen. It's magic. Yeah, and it just shoots the thread right through. But what I'm about to show, before Robin started. I'm sorry, I messed surgery, you up. <laughs> is this wave stitch? You only have heretofore gotten this on the much larger sergers. And look how beautiful. Can you see this on the camera? How it's creating this wave stitch. And I'm using a heavier weight thread than you could ever use on a sewing machine to make this beautiful decorative effect. All right, look at that. Whoa. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you could just cut this up and make bookmarks. You know, this is just a scrap of fabric. You can use thicker, like I've got Decor Bond in here and I put an edge on this. All I have to do to make me a hot pad is just go around the other three sides and I've got a hot pad. I mean, and it's just beautiful. Table runners, bags. You can even make your own piping with the wave stitch and sew it into other projects. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. So it is a four thread serger. Mm -hmm. It has the wave stitch. Mm -hmm. It has the cool extraordinary threading extraordinaire which is a step up from jet air from jet air jet air you push the lever and, and a mechanical lever right here just whoosh, and it works beautifully but this is even better it's, okay. it's a motor that shoots the thread the air and the thread through the machine okay it makes threading the loopers a dream so it's got extraordinaire threading 
Uh, do you have to adjust tension on this machine? Nope. <laughs> Tell me why. Because it has self-adjusting tension. It's got the ability to read the fabric that's going under the foot and adjust the tension and the foot and the pressure mm -hmm. and everything for the fabric that you're sewing on. Okay. Now, there are other smaller sergers that you do have to adjust. It has, They have knobs on the front, uh -huh. but not this one. Not this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me get this video pulled up because there is a really special video. Okay, so tell me about um, the history of the Baby Lux serger. Well, first of all, sergers 50, 60, 100 years ago were only in large garment factories. Okay. And they were how people made dresses and shirts and that sort of thing and finished the inside seams. But they were like table saw size <laughs> machines, you know, they were big things that you wouldn't want to put in your house. Yeah. Well, there was a engineer in Japan uh -huh. who designed a smaller serger that would fit on a in a sewing room okay. in a house, and Baby Lock acquired the patent for that smaller serger and yes. brought the first domestic home serger to the home market. Correct. And that was 55 years ago. 55 years ago. Yes. Okay. And we love going to uh, Baby Lock conferences where we get to see the Japanese engineers because they're so smart. They're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just so efficient. <laughs> and how do we know they're smart? They always carry a briefcase <laughs> and wear a suit. <laughs> no, but they're... It's remarkable uh, what they've done and the, the precision. Like, you know, if it comes from the Japanese factory and the Baby Lock factory, that it's just made to work. It's going to work right out of the box. There's no uh, doubt. No. It, it is, it's just. I didn't even have to test this little machine right here. I just shredded <laughs> it up and started sewing it because I knew it was going to work. You knew it was going to work. Yeah. Okay. I got to show you this fun little video. At the end of this little quick little video, it's only two minutes. I'm going to do a giveaway. All so right. let me share my screen and please ignore all the mess in the background. But this is a fun little video. Let me see if I can't get it to make the sound. Oh, well, let me turn it over. <laughs> Introducing Baby Lock's 55th Anniversary 4-Thread Serger, a machine with a story decades in the making. Koichi Sakuma, a sewing machine repairman, watched a client's apprentice hand sew edges piece after piece. Seeing the woman's career progress slowed by the task, Sakuma imagined a machine that would quickly sew edges, saving countless hours. But the path to invention would be rough. With his first wooden model, Sakuma would be rejected. His next prototype, a working machine made from scrap metal, left clients unconvinced. But Sakuma's creation would find its place in the world, and a name inspired by its size, with the Baby Lock EF205, the first household serger, and an iconic brand was born. Now, Baby Lock's newest serger continues this tradition of innovation and craftsmanship, with advanced features that make it easier to achieve professional quality edges. From the ease of threading loopers at the touch of a button to effortlessly balanced stitches no matter the fabric to the exclusive wave stitch baby lock's 55th anniversary four thread serger makes a historic addition to your collection get yours today plus a free baby lock inspirational guide and sweet seams fat quarter pack with your purchase learn more at your baby lock retailer Okay, super fun. All right, let me get rid of that, lower that down, and let's get back to us. Okay, yay. Okay, so that is the, um, the Sweet Seams pack of fabric. So mm -hmm. show that. It's really fun. Uh, you get this. This is a new Baby Lock line of fabric, and it is uh, really pretty colors. Uh, and it looks like there's stitches on it. That comes free with the new 55th anniversary, that and you pack. get a free inspirational guide. And so what is an inspirational guide? Well, Every machine comes with a manual. The manual is written by the engineers to show you step by step how to thread your machine, mm -hmm. how to set all the settings, mm -hmm. but it's engineers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. We don't have to say more about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the inspirational guides were written by Baby Lock educators, creative people who love to make beautiful things. And so that's what you find in an inspirational guide is the ability to do very special things with special threads, special fabrics, and then 
you get the one, two, three of how to do it and a picture of what it looks like. So it's a fun book. And So if you wanted creative. to learn how to do something, I mean, just any kind of stitch. Say you wanted to do that wave stitch. Uh -huh. You can flip to the page where it says how to do a wave stitch. Uh -huh. It shows you a, col a color picture of what it's supposed to be, uh -huh. what foot to use, what... Um, stitch selector to use, yep. what type of thread to use, it's your whole uh, recipe, what width to use, what how many needles, what needles to put in mm -hmm. there. It is uh, super self-explanatory. Like I could not do a serger without an inspirational guide. Yeah. So, so look, how to attach a sequence. sequence, and it shows you what they look like and what the stitch looks like, and it shows you how to create the stitches yeah. here. Every page in this book is What's something What's to stitch your length at? I mean, mm -hmm. it's just a step-by-step -step approach. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, the inspirational guides that come, I'm giving away a bunch for free. So, like, the Triumph has a free inspirational guide, and the um, Victory has a free inspirational guide. Uh, there are uh, lots of the sergers. Not every serger has an inspirational guide, but the ones that do... Uh, you may or may not get a free one if you um, purchase a serger during National Serger Month. So all these specials go through the 30th. Uh, and a lot of the feet are we're going to put on sale, right? Yes. People people have been wanting specialty feet for a long time. And they'll think about it. And now is your time because it's going to yes. be on super sale. Some of the serger feet, we cannot advertise which ones, but some of the serger feet are 50% off. And so we'll have them here in the store. Uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to call us. Uh, but we have lots of feet that are on sale. The eight thread serger ones, there's some of those are 50% off. Big deal, right? It's a big deal. Uh, uh, the rebates on the eight thread sergers are a big deal. The Euphoria, what is the Euphoria? The Euphoria is a cover stitch and chain stitch machine only. Uh -huh. It does what the Triumph does is like a four thread serger and an eight thread serger, you know, mm -hmm. cover stitch, change it. This is just cover chain. Okay, so it's the same size as the Triumph. Pretty much is. And if you have a four thread serger, you could get the Euphoria and you will have the Triumph. You will have it all. That's nice. Uh, except the wave stitch. So if you had like a 55th anniversary surger mm -hmm. and in a euphoria. Mm -hmm. Or an acclaim and a euphoria. Uh -huh. you, you would put have those two surgers mm -hmm. separately. Mm -hmm. If you were to put them together, it would become the triumph. Correct. So if you want them separate, that's, that's your thing to do. But so like if you have a great four thread surger, a great addition to your sewing room would be the euphoria. Yes. And it is on sale for normally $24.99. I'm sorry, normally $19.99. It's on sale for $14.99. 99 What? I know. And then we're giving away some free stuff with it. So just know that... Good for that, you. Not so good for us, but that's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great addition, uh, surger, surger addition to your sewing room. Uh, and so we've got some other um, machines on sale. The Celebrate, which is a four-thread serger. It's on sale for nine ninety nine. Wow. Uh, and then, of course, the rebates. So real quick, the Accolade, $250 rebate. The Triumph, $500 rebate, okay? And we are offering interest-free financing through the 14th. So depending on the size of the serger and how much you spend, depends on how many months. But it's 0% interest for sure on every um, serger, correct? Unless, don't forget to add that this beautiful serger table right here mm. is 20% off with the purchase of any baby lock serger. So who makes this? This is a koala cabinet, so you know the quality is incredible. So uh, this is super cool because, okay, so you could put your cones of threads. Do you see those holes in there? You could put your cones of thread upside down in there. You've got the storage space to hide your mess, your scissors in there. And then watch this. I'm going to let it go. It's like a soft closed drawer. It just goes down slowly. Uh, really high quality. It's on casters. It's on wheels, so you can move it around. We wheeled this in here this morning. We wheeled it out. And it will ship directly to your door. You know, and you can pick the color, too. Yes. Yes, you can custom, quarter, custom order your color from the Koala cabinet. Say that ten yeah. times fast. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then what about the other stuff that's on sale? You put the store on sale, I yeah. swear. You were out of town. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> Okay, so show what the things that are, are that are on sale. Okay, in addition to the eight thread serger feet mm -hmm. and attachments, mm -hmm. you have to come into the store to see the price on these because we're putting them on such super... So there's a difference between 
feet and attachments, correct? There kind of is, yeah. yeah. This is, for instance, this is a double fold bias binder for knit or woven fabric. Mm -hmm. And this attaches to the front of the serger with screws on the little table. Mm -hmm. And you run your, can you see how that little, like a little potato masher, you run your fabric through there, it comes out the other side, and it attaches the binding to your fabric. It's magical. That's one of mom's favorite attachments. <laughs> Love it, yes. This is a cording foot. You can attach cording, you can put it, you can make your own mm -hmm. make your own cording. Make your own cording. Yes. You can make your own um, cording to insert in other projects. And these are the green color ones. Just the green color green ones. colors are for the eight thread serger. Yeah. So grab a four thread serger box. This, this is foot kit only, is on sale. This is the only um, four thread. See it's pink. So the it, I like how they've color coded it. So if yeah. you've got a four thread serger, baby lot four thread serger, pink. the the feet are uh, have pink backgrounds. Right. The individual pink feet are not on sale, but this foot kit is. Yes, normally two hundred and forty dollars. It's on sale for one hundred and eighty nine. Wow. Yeah, so you can get all six feet. There's a, a ruffling foot in there. It's one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, this is on sale for $189. And, okay, there's a 10-piece foot kit that is on sale for, uh, if you have an acclaim, if you have a, um, a victory, a, a celebrate, and the new 55th anniversary serger, normally it's 500 and something. It's on sale for 404. So 400, dollars and that is that black tote bag. The beauty of the 10. Uh, grab that that's, tote bag. That's not a foot kit. It is. This is the 10 piece foot there kit for those sergers. I thought it was an empty. And guy. so it comes in this great little um, tote bag. This is on sale for 400 and has. Um, the, see how they're pink? That's your four thread sergers. So this is would work for the new 55th anniversary serger. Uh, so that's on sale. Okay, what else is on sale? There's uh, serger needles are on sale. Let me find They're over. You see your stack right there. Yes. Serger needles. Uh, Class A makes fabulous serger needles, and they have these gorgeous tins of serger needles. Those are on sale. Pray check and pray block, which you need if you own a serger. If you own a serger, you're going to want pray check and play block. These are on sale. Super little tweezers. You get tweezers with your serger, but these are even special, more special sergers. So, uh, oh goodness, the needle tins are on sale for sixteen. The fray block is on sale for seven forty three. The fray check is on sale for three ninety nine. The tweezers are on sale for nine dollars and sixty cents. What else did you put on sale? The overlock table. Oh, yes, this is a new item for the Triumph and the Euphoria that allows you to attach attachments on the table, but then it also allows you to do the four thread stitches and the eight thread stitches without having to change out your table. So this is for the Triumph and, and the, the Euphoria. And, no, not the Euphoria. I think it's the Triumph and the Ovation, correct? Yes, the yes. Ovation. Yeah, the previous Triumph model. Yeah, that's what it is. And it allows to put those those attachments on there. And so mom has done a fantastic, you go to her website and there's a fantastic video that she has done on the Triumph and using this new table. It, if you have effort. a Triumph, this takes your Triumph up a whole nother level. It's like getting a whole new machine. It's amazing. Yeah. This was new. This just came out in August. They just debuted that. Uh, so come in and take a look at that. And so what's the price it's on, on that? It's on sale. Yeah. Did you what put that it? brand new cover stitch table on yes, sale? Yes, ma'am. $140? Don't go out of town if you don't want me to put stuff on sale. <laughs> See, when it's National Embroidery Month, I put everything on sale when she's out of town because I love embroidery. <laughs> and so when I go out of town, she puts all the surgery stuff on sale. Yeah. yeah. I see how this works. You see how it works. <laughs> okay, look at this package right here. This has got some gorgeous decorative thread in it, regular serger thread. These spools of Decora that's 12-weight thread. You can do the most beautiful techniques with these, and they're pretty expensive, but this whole set is, is on sale for 100 bucks. That's a deal. That's a deal. Uh, we have very limited quantities of some of this. Yes. I think that may be the last one. It may be. Okay. Um, so, and then the trolley, you put the trolley on sale if you have yep. a big serger, the, um, the rolling trolley, because we bring them back to fourth to class a lot. You've got a um, metallic thread set. Oh, okay, look. so... Um, this is Leanne does our surgery instructor who's doing the quilt class. This is a glamour box, very 
uh, expensive box of metallic glamour Madeira thread, and it is for the serger. It's on sale for three hundred twenty-eight bucks. Yep, and that's that got a, a lot of thread in it in the most gorgeous colors. Okay. Okay, so we forgot to do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. Hey, Let's hey. do two giveaways since we were supposed to do two more. Okay, and then we're going to do, we're going to bring in Linda Pacini and Mike Johns, and they're going to do this amazing presentations on all things serger at Baby Lock. Okay. Look, look what I've got to give away. It's not a, a It's a, not a fanny pack, but it's a belt, belt bag. bag. <laughs> they used to be called fanny packs, but now they're called belt bags. <laughs> okay. Take a number between one and um, ten. Three. One, two, three. Denise Bennett. All right, Denise. Denise. She says, I love my overlock table. Oh. So Denise got uh, the new overlock table mm -hmm. for her Triumph Serger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is uh, uh, a must-have if you have a Triumph Serger. Okay. Yes. All right. Denise Bennett got, got the uh, belt badge. Fun. Yes. Okay. We'll pick another number between one and ten. Um, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mary Faustcraft. Mary Faustcraft. Next purchase is a surgery. Yay. Okay. All right. So, look. Mary, you won a set of refrigerator magnets that have all things sewing. Quilting and sewing. How yes. fun, Mary. Okay. Super. That is uh, your prize. Okay. So, that's my two giveaways. I We have six more giveaways. Oh, I don't know. I can't count. We have a lot of giveaways to do. Plus a fifty dollar gift card that we're going to give away at the end. Let's do one more giveaway. Okay. What do you say? Sure. Okay. So don't forget to. The way we know that you're watching is to comment, and that is how when we will do a um, giveaway at the. We'll do several giveaways at the end of um, Linda's and Mike's presentation. Okay. Right. And let's just say you got to come pick them up within a month. Yes. They go back into you said general population. General population <laughs> after they. <laughs> If you don't pick it up within a month, it goes back into the general population circulation. Okay. All right. All right. Let's pick a number. How about number eight? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Cindy Hornet. Cindy Hornet. She's got an acclaim. She says love, she loves love, love my acclaim. So okay. the acclaim is the top of the line four, four thread thread. surger. It yes. has the wave stitch. Mm -hmm. It is a step above. And it is bigger than and, the 55th anniversary. And more surgery. expensive. And more expensive. Yeah. It is a bigger investment, but it is uh, super, super nice. nice. The lighting is better. The throat space is bigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you can get a big extension tables to go well, on Well, let's it. tell Cindy what she won. Oh, what did Cindy win? <laughs> a tote bag. a tote bag from okay. Shannon Fabrics, uh -huh. Sew Together Tuesday. And inside the tote bag is... A coffee cup. A coffee mug. Sew Together Tuesday Sew together. with Teresa Coates. And on the inside it says... Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We've got, we'll go over all our specials one more time when we come back after watching Linda. All right. So Linda and Mike are going to debut the, uh, they're, we're debuting the serger and they're going to talk about all of the stuff that pre, pre, um, preceded the 55th anniversary. Right. So this is the full baby lock lineup. So, uh, please welcome Mike and Linda. Hi everybody, I'm Linda Pacini and with me today is Mike Johns, also from the Baby Lock Education team. So welcome Mike. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Don't we have some wonderful machines sitting here in front of us? This is such a cool thing to see right now. We've got our entire Baby Lock lineup of sergers right here and we're going to talk about these today right yeah so the purpose of this video is to introduce you to all of the machines in the baby lock serger line because i don't know if you've noticed it but we certainly have sergers are a big topic of conversation out there they really are everything from what does a serger do to what serger is right for me or why do i need a serger right and we're going to answer that question today we're going to go through this and we're going to start at the entry level of our lineup and we're going to work our way up we're going to talk about all of the benefits, all the features, what they do, and help you decide what machine is perfect for you and why. Right? No doubt. Yeah. And so just so that you know, from a historical perspective, Baby Lock is the company that first introduced a serger to a home sewing market. And we did that a number of years ago. But what you don't probably know is that we have taken some features and put them into machines, the likes of which were never seen once before. And so Mike, yeah. one of those features is a big deal and we're celebrating an anniversary of we that. We are, this is our 30th year from when we introduced Jet Air Threading, which if you ask me, that was the innovation that made sergers 
fun, right? It truly I mean, was. it really did. It took the pain out of threading a serger because if you've ever done a serger that's not jet air threading, boy, it can be a little bit of a challenge, right? But with ours, we've got this built in. We've got various intonations of it as we go through this. But as you go through the line, you'll see threading our machines is a breeze. And right. that really makes them a joy to sew with. I agree. And so when you're walking through this presentation today, just understand this, that there is a lot of tools that you can turn to to help you really clarify your decision. Probably by the time you're done watching this video, you're going to get a sense of exactly what serger really is meant to go home with you and be a part of your sewing room. But I also know that our Baby Lock Retail Retailers represent a wonderful resource to help you as well. They really do. And they're such a great resource because they're the ones that are going to actually let you sit down and sew with the machines and see what it does, see how it feels, see how you interact with it. And that is so important, right? Because there's nothing like a test drive. We test drive our cars. Right. So why not test drive our machines, I right? I couldn't agree more. And I do believe that that hands-on experience is what's going to help you get comfortable. So what we also want you to know is that when it comes to a baby lock machine, well, we excel in education. We've got a lot of different ways of helping people get the most out of the product that they finally end up taking home. So whether it's a part of our SoEd video library, where we have thousands of titles to choose yeah. from, everything from just how to operate your machine, how to get the most out of all the feet and attachments, well, there's a whole lot that's covered out there. And in addition to that, we have a lot of great written materials as well under our inspirational guides. Yeah, and we also have a very active social media community on Facebook. So we have a group that's called the Baby Lock serger Facebook community and that is run by us we actually run that it's a place where you can go ask questions you can post comments you can show off your work which we always love to see right and we'll get back to you me and Linda actually answer things on that as well the rest of our team so it's a really great way to get instant kind of uh, feedback when you're looking for questions and stuff because you know retailers have to take a little time off too so that's a way that we can actually keep it kind of going in real time yeah fantastic mike well just so that you know when it comes to sergers we certainly have noticed that there's like we talked about an uptick in people having questions about them and so maybe you have said to yourself I'm not somebody who really needs to own a serger. Well, once you really understand what a serger can do, it really does act as a wonderful accessory to your sewing room. But how do you know which one to pick and what features are really right for you? And that's what we're gonna be tackling in this video. But before we get started with that, we're gonna take a little bit of a trip down memory lane yeah. and we're gonna show off some of our earliest sergers and then we're gonna walk you through the line. So this is gonna be fun. So as promised, here we are standing in front of four of our earlier models of sergers, and you have to admit there's a little bit of eye candy going on. There is. I love this. And what you may not know is we have these around our studio here, and we get to see these every day, and they're cherished, right? Because this is our foundation. This is where we kind of got started. But how cool are the colors? I mean, yeah. let's talk about the colors. Yeah. But what's really neat about this, Linda, is this is the foundation. This is where we started. This is where we've come from. And the nice thing is, and I know we're going to talk about this, but there's features on this that directly translate into the features of our most current model right now, right? Very true. So I'm going to direct your attention to a few things that really make this a serger. And one of the first things that is really unique about sergers is that they can cut fabric. So on every single model of machine, we have a cutting blade knife. And what that knife will do is it's going to trim off the fabric. And after it's gone through, it's going to lay some stitches and thread on it. Right. And these were really how they first in industrial wear made machines so that they could make for a good garment construction. Well, and they were a finishing stitch, right? So this is a way that once we did seams or hems, things like that, we could guarantee that that weave and that fabric wasn't going to let go. It actually made a nice clean finish and therefore increased the longevity of the garments themselves. So it's a nice utilitarian product, but nowadays we're also looking at the fact that it's not just utilitarian, right? As we keep going through the lineup, I think what you're gonna see is that we actually have put a lot of creativity into our machines as well. Absolutely. So let's talk about some of these things. Now on the earliest models of machines, what you're going to notice is that the needles themselves come in at an angle. We yeah. call this kind of a slant needle system. And we also have tension knobs. Now our earliest sergers only had 
three different spools of thread that they can be accommodated. And then as we moved a little bit farther along, you're standing next to a four, yeah. four thread model. And I love the two separate thread trees, <laughs> right? And cool? they're angled at the side. So yeah. as you can see, just looking at these machines, whether it's lighting that's on the outside to help you know illuminate your work surface, it's the cutting blade knife, it's the way that the machines mm -hmm. thread. And oftentimes what you'll also notice is that there's a little bit of color coding going on to mm -hmm. really guide somebody who's going to be using a machine to make it easier for them to achieve success when they're threading. Absolutely, and we've carried that on. You know, our most current machine is still color coded, which I love that, I absolutely yeah. love that. Now, as we go up in the line, one of the things you're gonna notice is the fronts of the machines become a lot more yeah. simplified, yeah. right? We've, we've really dramatically changed product. And so this is foundationally an important thing for Baby Lock as a brand <laughs> to know because it helps us to really talk to you about the history of our brand and our product and how we continue always to strive for better solutions for people who sew because we're also sewers too. What we're going to do next is we're going to start then showing you now the machines kind of in price order, Mike, right? right? So to kind of give you an idea of what features are where and I think you're going to find it's a pretty interesting journey. So we're going to do that next. I hope that you enjoyed taking a look at the past because it's going to help ground you a little bit about where we are today. So I'm sitting next to the Baby Lock Celebrate and this is the very first machine in our line. And let's qualify this because we have a serger that is very first in our line and that's the Baby Lock Vibrant. But it stands kind of apart from right. the rest of these Japanese made sergers. So let's just talk about that for a second, Mike. Yeah, it's kind of an entry level serger and it's one that we throw out there for the person who may not be doing a lot of heavy surging, that kind of stuff. They're looking for something that's a more starter surger, I guess you could kind of say like sure. that. It is all manual, right? That's the one thing we have to really point out about that because as we start looking through our line, we're gonna start talking about how we improve the processes that go into the machine. And we're gonna talk about more things that are automated for us, which to me, I don't know about you, but automation is the king right it there, right? It makes a big deal. It does. And, and I would also say that you have to know a little bit about yourself, right? So as a brand new serger owner, a long time ago, my first machine was just driven by the fact that I needed something very affordable affordable. Little did I know at that time that that machine was going to last me for a very long time because these machines are meant to last for a very, very long, long time. time. And so if you're making a decision, don't start out exactly at the lowest end of the spectrum because what you're going to find is that it's going to make it a little bit harder to be successful. But this is where we start with sergers that have a lot of capability. So we pointed out a few things to you when we were looking at our entry level machines and, and they were Things like color-coded threading. Right, your knife blade. Right. Our, our needles, but let's talk about our needles now because our needles have changed yes. from what we saw before because when we talked about even our older entry-level machines, when we kind of took that walk back in history, we, we specifically pointed out that our needles were angled. Yes, right? so and we did that for a reason. We did because now when we look at the machines that are sitting on the table now, yeah. they're straight up and down. Yeah, so it's a vertical needles. And we're starting now with the features that are inherent in all of our Baby Lock products from the Celebrate all the way on up. And when we talk about needles that are going directly up and down into fabric, what I can tell you from personal experience is, is that when you're sewing fast, and by the way, these are just sew 1,500 stitches per minute, which is really, really fast. And when they do that, if your fabric is thick, What's going to happen, and it's going to happen, when your needles are at a slant position like this, as that fabric comes in, well, you just may end up finding that those needles bend a little bit. And if they bend, they, break. they can break. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, it can knock your machine out of time. So we're starting foundationally right. right there because that's a big deal. So a baby lock serger, the way that it's made, I'm just going to tell you, they're not gonna get knocked out of time. And a part of that reason is because the needles go straight up and down. Now there's some guts inside <laughs> that also make sure that the machine won't get knocked out of time. But that's an important thing because downtime on your surgery means you're not sewing. That's right. And what we're telling you is that you're not gonna have downtime. And when we're talking about downtime, let's talk maintenance in general when we talk about baby lock surgeries. These are some of the easiest machines in the world to maintain, right? I mean, literally, all you're gonna do is keep them dusted, right? Clean out the inside, and that's all specified in your manual to talk to you how to do that. 
Plus, we have this wonderful little series on YouTube called From the Workbench with Doug. And if you haven't seen that, such a great resource, not only for our surgeons, but for our entire baby lock line, because Doug is the head of our tech program. And he actually goes through and explains to you how to maintain your machines. Now, all of our machines too are closed systems. So that means that there's no oiling, which is wonderful. Yeah. Because now I don't have to worry about getting grease and that kind of stuff out because my tech's gonna do that at my annual checkup. Right, and you definitely wanna have your machine checked out on a regular basis, just because if you're using it a lot to sew, you just wanna make sure that it's working good. So yeah. let's get back to some of these things. Okay, so from top to bottom, we have a wonderful thread tree, which collapses for storage. You're gonna bring it all the way up and you have four different cones of thread that can be used, but you've probably heard people talk about a four, three, two thread serger. Well, guess what? <laughs> These are all four, three, two thread sergers. What that means is that there are stitches that can be formed using all four threads, just three threads, and even just two threads. Absolutely, and we've got all of our machines. You're gonna see as we progress through our machine lineup, we've color coded them for you with our thread spools. Yes. So you'll see that we've got purple, four cones of purple on each one of these machines. So the ones sitting on our table, these all are 432 machines. They're actually going to be able to fall into that category. Yeah. One thing before we get too far, uh, talking about our telescope for our thread tree here, those all are done so that they lock in place. Yes. Which it may sound like a little thing, but it's a, it's big, a big thing, thing, right? It's a big thing. They won't dance they around won't when dance you're surging yeah. at 1,500 stitches per minute. And I do surge that fast. I know you do too. It's I like do too. I, I go lead foot, right? Yeah. That's the way to go. So let's talk about some of the other things. So we have the needles that go straight up and down. We also have on the outside of the machine, and I'm gonna kind of bounce around a little bit. This is our differential yes. feed. And if you look closely, what you're gonna see with this diagram is it's showing you, it's pushing the fabric together. That means it's gathering. And when you move this lever down, it's going to stretch it out. And so this is actually a pretty cool way that you can make fabric kind of manage itself the way you want. Right, and honestly, the thing is, is I find myself, I'm sure you do too, when I'm dealing with specialty fabrics, right? That differential feed, being able to adjust that on the fly is a godsend because when you're sitting here stitching, if you're stitching something that has a little bit of stretch into it, you can actually adjust the differential feed to eliminate any puckering that you might be seeing happening as you stitch. And what I love is this is on every machine, yeah. right? This is in the full lineup. I call it my stick shift on my it serger. It kind of is, Because yeah. what it'll do is it'll help you manage the road, so to speak, or right, the fabric. Yeah. Okay, so differential feed, and then I'm going to open up the door here, and we're gonna talk a little bit about our jet air threading system. So we said we are experiencing our 30 year anniversary this year, <laughs> and it's for this little guy. This is a little pump and it's gonna blow air through your machine. And so it doesn't run out of air. <laughs> it's a continuous <laughs> supply, but it does work beautifully. And the neat thing about it, and so we say jet air threading, but really and truly it works in conjunction with, we're gonna get technical now, our tubular looper system. And so the machines have the ability, and if you look on the inside and it's always printed, you're gonna push this button in at the same time that you rotate your hand wheel towards you and what just happened is my threading tubes locked. I'm gonna show it to you again. I can release them, and then I can press on this button, and they lock. This is the secret sauce for yes. how our machines can thread because most sergers, you have to thread them in a certain order or you're not gonna stitch. And in fact, if you've got a serger in a closet somewhere <laughs> and you can't get it to thread and you're really frustrated by it, here's a little tip. Start with your upper looper and then do your lower looper. You have to thread it in a certain order, and that's just the way sergers are, but not not these ours. Machines. <laughs> not these. Yeah. You can thread them so you don't have to go back to school every time you sit down to your machine. It's pretty easy to do. So that jet air threading. Now, when you thread the machine, I'm just going to point out that here on the Celebrate, this is the only machine in this line that has tension knobs on the outside, and we call this twin cam micromatic tension. Sounds like a mouthful but what it has is a pretensioner so that it's not like everybody else's tension knobs and it's certainly nothing like the tension knobs on our first sergers. This is gonna smooth out the thread. So even if you have a little bubble in it, mm -hmm. it's gonna smooth it out and you're gonna have perfect stitching. This machine does a beautiful job. It does, it makes beautiful stitches actually. And another way to think about smoothing out that bubble is it unkinks the kinks, right? I mean, that's a way to kind of think of it because if you've stitched with any specialty thread, like we have uh, our Madeira thread up here, which is airlock, which is beautiful, makes beautiful seams. But sometimes we like to do specialty threads. And I always like to say, when I'm talking to a customer, if they actually embroider, I say, do you have a hard time using specialty threads? Metallics are our favorite, right? Yeah. Guys, on our sergers, 
all of those specialty threads are headache free, yeah. which I love that. So if you've got a machine where you've bought a bunch of specialty thread and you just kind of thrown it in a drawer because you're just like, I'm never going to use this on my machine, throw it on your serger. It makes beautiful stitching. It so, does. Yeah. It, but as we go through our pathing and our thread pathing here, it does unkink those kinks for us. And it, it actually will remove the lint on it as well as it, it kind of goes through. Yeah. It's fancy. It's okay, fancy. so let's talk about some of the other features. Now, if you look over here on the side of the machine, you're gonna see this top knob up here. And this is going to control your stitch width. I'm gonna make sure that my knife is up and it is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first release my threading, but I'm gonna move this knife blade in and out. And what I can see you may not be able to see it, but you need to know this is a pretty cool feature. This is called fabric support system. And so what's happening is as my knife is moving in and out, so is my stitch finger. And when it does that, what it's essentially doing is making sure that as I cut off and surge my fabric, well, all those stitches, they're right on the edge and you don't have to make any adjustments. None of this whole bunch of thread hanging off to the side and now you gotta start making a bunch of adjustments to your tension knobs, it doesn't exist. That's one of my favorite features. It is, and I think stitch fingers, we talk a lot about stitch fingers, right? We talk about that quite often. And I think a lot of people kind of get mystified by that. What is a stitch finger? Well, really and truly, if you get to your local retailer, which we really want you to do, if you look right behind where the needles are, there's like literally two little metal fingers that are kind of sticking out. And that's actually supporting that fabric once that other part has been cut. So if you think about it, you've got the weight of the cut fabric, you've got the stitches on the fabric that's sitting up there. Those stitch fingers are almost like this table leg supporting yeah. where those stitches are going. Right. And that's the reason why you can actually sew air on a serger right. because all the stitches are formed on that metal plate and then it just slides off to the back. We call that chaining off and you can do that. You'd never do it on a sewing machine, but you definitely can do it on a serger. Right below that, there's a lower large knot and this knob actually has two words on the outside, standard and rolled. And what this is going to do is allow me to have instant narrow rolled hemming. And that's one of yeah. the main reasons I bought a serger. And it's a beautiful rolled hem too. I mean, throw a little bit of woolly thread on there so that it has a little bit of fluff and a little bit of a halo to the thread itself. Go into that rolled hem, make your stitch length really short, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's an easy way to finish off even the most difficult fabric. Think of chiffon wedding veils, right? Think about uh, silk scarves, things like that. Such a practical use. And the funny thing is, is that we even use it for decoration purposes, not even just for practical and utilitarian purposes, but for decoration as well. Yeah, and you can a do a one. lot. You yeah. can do a lot with the stitches. And what's important to note is that when you get into that area where you're doing that narrow rolled hem, like magic, as you go to that setting, it retracts your stitch finger. So those two little fingers that Mike was talking about where your stitches get formed, well, only left is that little tiniest one, which right. is what gives you that tiny stitch. And in fact, that's the one stitch that you never could replicate on a home sewing machine. And it was the reason why I ended up with the serger a long time ago yeah. in my sewing room. It's a beautiful stitch. It really, is a beautiful really stitch. Now, baby lock sergers also have the ability by rotating this little knob back towards the machine to drop your cutting blade knife. And that's also a wonderful feature to have because you can do flat locking, which doesn't cut your fabric, but what it does is it meshes your fabric together and you can do some nice decorative stitching. So this machine with its vertical needles that go straight up and down with this nice presser foot lift that raises pretty high to six accommodate- Six millimeters. Six millimeters yeah. to accommodate thick fabrics. The differential feed, our jet air threading system, twin cam micromatic tension. I also love the fact that I'm going storage. to do the little fancy yeah. storage. I can slide this open and now my favorite accessories that I need at my fingertips are right there. And I'm also going to mention we have a built-in needle threader. We do. Yeah, absolutely. Which I don't know. I, I don't think I own a machine that doesn't thread itself. Yeah. Needle wise. <laughs> right. And you know what? Seriously, there are people that cannot see to thread a needle. I can feel that pain. Don't Get yourself to a place where you can't do anything until you got somebody that can thread the needle. You can do it yourself. You just have the right machine. So yeah. that's essentially the Baby Lock Celebrate. 432 Thread Serger. You control the tensions yourself. Super easy to do. Nice instruction manual. Not only that, So Ed Video Library has a lot of content about how to get the most out of the machine. So 
If you are interested, you can always download a spec sheet of our products on our BabyLock website. Just type in the word celebrate and go to machine specifications. You'll be able to download it and look at it. But there's a lot of additional feet that can be used on the machine yeah. for different techniques. There's a lot to be done with it. But again, this is our entry level machine. And now as we move up, Mike, I'm going to have you introduce the Victory and what's different about it. So you can assume that most everything stays the same, but Victory's got some special features. Yeah, well, right off the bat, I think you guys can just look at the front of the machine and see the biggest difference, right? If we look at the uh, Celebrate, Linda pointed out that we have those four tensioning knobs. So that's gonna deal with both our overlock needle one, overlock needle two, and our upper looper and our lower looper. And we have to set the tensions for that. When we get up to the Victory, there's no tension knobs. They're gone, right? Even if I open my front door here, you're gonna see there are no tension knobs. And that's because we have automatic thread delivery system on this. And what's gonna happen is right here, you're gonna see that I have a new feature that's showing up on my machine. And this is going to be my stitch selector. And what this is going to allow me to do is as I go through and thread my machine, I'm gonna look at what's called my threading guide or my quick reference threading guide. And I'm gonna go in and set my stitch selector to whatever stitch that I want it to do. This, whatever I put on here, is going to automatically tell all of the tension discs that are located up here where they need to be. And actually, we just finished filming. Now, I don't know when you're going to be watching this video, but I will say that you ought to look for a wonderful video that Doug Thompson, who's our lead technical trainer, has done about this ATD. So when we're talking about ATD, which stands for automatic thread delivery. We're not talking about the Jetter threading feature. What we're really talking about is the absence of these tension knobs. There's a series of movable plates that exist inside of the machine. And in fact, what they do technically is they pull, measure, and store the perfect amount of thread for whatever stitch that you have selected. That means what you selected on your stitch selector knob. But not only that, it measures the thickness of your thread and mysteriously, it measures the thickness of your fabric. And on the inside, there's a series of cables. It does all the magic. You don't even need to know all that, but I will tell you, it's a flawless system. It and it really does a fantastic job. And that's a huge step up feature. It and is. I'm glad you pointed that out first, because I really do believe that that's one of the biggest differences, but there's more. It is, yeah. So we men we've mentioned a couple of times now how threading is easy on these machines. So I'm gonna reach back here and pull out one of our quick reference threading charts. This is for one of our other machines, but we'll have one that's very similar for this machine as well. And what this does is I'm gonna make sure that I'm on four thread overlock here, which is right here at the very top. This is a recipe card. I know, I love it. Yeah. Because I like to cook. I can follow yeah. a recipe. You well, can follow a recipe. I don't like to cook, but I can follow a recipe. <laughs> I can follow <laughs> so a recipe. I just go to Linda's house. All right, so across the top, it actually just tells me all of the settings that I need to put in to be able to get the stitch that's identified. Now, we've mentioned a couple of times that we talked color coding. Yes. Right. And this actual is actually is color coded as well. So if you see across the top here, I have a green background on the top of my header. Now, we've already talked about the fact that these three machines we have sitting on our table now are all overlock. They're 432 overlock machines. Because of that, everything's going to be green on this. But as we move up the line, you're going to see that we introduce a gold component because we're going to have different features that go into those machines. So that'll be our eight thread sergers. And we'll get there in just yep. a little bit. But this is as easy as just following what's written here on the card. So one of the things that we do like to talk about is our instruction manuals right at the beginning of it. It does give you a familiarization, a couple of pages for familiarizing yourself with the actual machine itself. But we know not everybody likes to read manuals, right? People never read manuals. I'm the guilty party because I don't read them. I, I prefer to learn a different way. I, I like visual, but I, I'll, I'll admit I, I do read the manual. Yeah, of course you do, Mike. <laughs> yeah, but this is going to be the machine that we introduce our inspirational guides. So from this machine forward, we will have inspirational guides available for our machines. Now, what the inspirational guide is, is exactly what it sounds like, right? This is going to inspire you to get in there, to get familiar with your machine. And not only that, but it's going to teach you how to use all of the available accessories, the available feet. Now, I can tell you right off the top, there's 10 additional feet that are available for this particular machine. Same with the Celebrate. But we're going to go through and show you how in this book to not only use those feet, but when to use them, why to use them, how to use them. Yeah. And we also put that quick reference threading guide right in here in each one of the different setups so that you don't have to go looking for it. It's right there on the page. Yeah, I love that, yeah. Mike. And that's one of the reasons why we say that Baby Lock is all about education because we're sewers ourselves. We look at things and know that most people do not have the time to spend doing a PhD course on just how to use their <laughs> machine before they sit down with fabric. 
The thing that's always the hardest for machines is threading. We've taken that away. Now it's just really about creating. Another feature I'm gonna point out, and Mike, if you can make sure that my green notch on the outside is lined up, I'm gonna show you that when I have this lined up, I can engage the needle threader. And this needle threader is gonna come down and it's gonna do either the right or the left needle for me. And this is another feature that's built in. Again, I have a needle threader also on the Baby Lock Celebrate, but I like to point out the differences in them because as we move up the line, get it better. gets dramatically <laughs> different. Yeah, it gets yeah, better. No do. doubt it, it gets, gets better. better. So we still have a storage compartment on the we underneath of the right thread. Yep. And we still have differential feed. We have the same knobs for the stitch width, for lowering the knife. knife. We also still have that same vertical needle um, system. And if you look on the outside, I'm gonna point out here that we have jet air threading and it says so on the outside. So now you can kind of understand the language that we put on our machines. And so basically the celebrate to the victory, you have an available inspiration guide, you have automatic thread delivery. You also have a quick reference threading guide because it's gonna tie in to that stitch selector knob. And those are the biggest differences between the machines. And that's a big deal, it is. but you're sitting next to a really big deal. Damn, this one is an amazing machine. So basically, if you want to think about this, we're going good, better, best, yes. right? And honestly, that's one of the things we encourage you to do when you're looking at your machines, go good, better, best. Yeah. And I always encourage people, if you can, buy up. Find the one you love, buy the next one up, because that's going to give you those extra features that you may think, oh, I don't need it right now. But then when you get home, you're like, oh, I really didn't need that. Yeah, right? I've <laughs> had people that have said to me, I thought it was going to be hard. And when I got home, and I realized how easy it was. Then they're like, well, why didn't I move up in the line? So yeah. let's talk about the Acclaim and the features that it had, because right off the bat, you can see it's a bigger machine. Well, and let's talk about the bigger machine, right? Because now we're noticing that we have more space here in the throat of the machine. Why is that important? Well, honestly, it's whatever projects you're going to work on, right? I do a lot of quilts. I know I do a lot of garments as well. I know you do a lot of garments, things like that. Whenever we're doing something that's going to take a lot of space to the right of my needle, think about this. If I'm doing a quilt and I'm actually kind of trying to roll and put some things in as decorative stitches, I need some more space here. If I'm doing garments, like maybe I'm putting an arm's eye in or something like that, I need that extra space. So if you notice as we've kind of come up, We've been kind of tight down here and now we're starting to get a little bit more room right. here, which is a big deal. But let's be clear because the fact of the matter is this is a four thread overlock and for the most part, you're gonna be cutting off the edges of your fabric. Right. But in sitting in front of a serger like that, I feel like I'm a little bit more scrunched here. When I get to the Acclaim, I actually have much better lighting. Mm -hmm. Notice how it's flooded in the front. Mm -hmm. You can actually see your work surface a little bit better. So you're not taking advantage of rolling a quilt up in that area right. so much that it does help you understand but I think of it like driving down the highway and having concrete barriers on one side. Okay, fine, I can do that. <laughs> but but when they put that one on the other <laughs> side next to me, I feel a little restricted. Yeah, you know, I don't ever hit them, but I feel a little restricted and that makes me feel like I've got a little bit more space. But it's, yeah. it's bigger and it, it does bigger. a lot more too. I would also say too though, just because we said that, you know, normally we're not doing overlocks as decorative stitches, we never want to discourage that because we do use them yes, as decorative stitches. Yes, you absolutely stitch. can. And we can, Linda did show you a few minutes ago, we can lower that blade yes, so we we're not always cutting so but you, we want to make sure that the other thing you're going to find is i've got a new mysterious knob here at the top yeah. right and this is something that is a trademark of baby yeah, lock i love the wave yeah stitch. so this is the wave stitch i love the wave stitch this is a really really cool feature now there's a couple of things about the wave stitch one we have to go back to that um, quick reference threading guide and if our machine has the wave stitch on it which every machine from this one up yes that is an overlock machine does if we have that, we're gonna to have to really pay close attention to our quick reference threading chart because that's really one of our first stitches that we're gonna introduce where we're actually gonna thread things in different ways, yes. right? We're gonna cross some threads, things like that. But what's really nice about it is, again, our ATD is gonna take care of all of this for yes. us. Now, if you don't know what the wave stitch is, basically it's a tension play, right? We're taking our upper looper and lower looper and we're alternating between the two. So we could put two decorative threads in our loopers and we have this really cool kind of serpentine stitch that goes over the top. Love it, and it's yes, so cool. Good. And to change it, it's as simple as yep. that and Lifting making sure it. you have it threaded correctly. Absolutely. That's it. So you're gonna see that. Now, the other thing you're gonna notice is Linda pointed out just a few minutes ago that down on our machines, we've had that jet air threading, but now we have revolution air threading, right? Yes. So if I open this up, what you're gonna see is no more pump, right? If we go back to our previous machine, you'll see that we have that little pump that's going to push our thread through. Now we actually have a button 
So when we have this over in our threading mode, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into threading mode. Again, I'm gonna watch the inside here as I'm turning my uh, hand wheel towards me. Always towards you. Yeah, and I'm gonna see those tubes close for me. And again, that's what's making it to where we can use these air systems to be able to do it. Once I've got my thread through the correct channels and down to my upper and lower loopers here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of my thread in there, push the button, and just like that, it's gonna shoot through the rest of the machine for me. Yes. I'm not having to do anything. We often get asked a lot of questions too about what do I do with a thread that's left here? You leave it alone. Yeah, <laughs> right? just let it lay there. Where it lies is where it lies, right? Yeah. So this is the first time that we're introducing revolutionary threading and it is a big game changer. The Jetter thread works beautiful, but let's make it a little fancier. But Mike, right? there's a bonus also to revolutionary thread and that is that you have threading for your needles as well. You do. And so over on the outside of your machine, when you engage that piece, what it will allow you to do is to blow the thread through the eye That's of the right. needle as well. It's a beautiful system and it works well. So the other things that we want to talk about that make it different, if you want to lift that up, you also have on the outside of the machine to the left, we have our ability to be able to adjust the presser foot pressure. And that's a nice thing, especially if you're working on lofty fabrics. Right. For me, I never change that, but it's certainly there for somebody yeah. who might need it. Also on the inside of the machine, you're gonna notice that we do have a knob that you can adjust your looper tension. And so if you want to not necessarily rely on the stitch selector knob, which is a different configuration. So the stitch right. selector knob here on the Victory is going to be this little round one, but for you now it's on the outside and it actually shows you the areas that the waves are. So all mm -hmm. these little different incremental changes, that makes a big difference. But what you also have is that knob that will adjust it. So if you're working on really slick threads or threads, mm -hmm. I've seen Pearl Crown Rayon where because the machine is balancing it, it gets it right on the edge. You might wanna snug those threads down a little bit and that's what will give you the ability to do that. But if you look on the Celebrate and also on the Victory, you can't open this side of the door, but you can. And the reason why you have that here on the Acclaim is so that you can actually take a little vacuum cleaner and get that clean inside of there. We're thinking you're probably gonna do a lot more decorative stitching yeah. and you wanna clean up those threads. Absolutely, because as we're cutting, right, it's obviously going to lint quite a bit sure. for us, but it's easy. You can go from one side to the other, a lot more easy access here. Yeah. The other thing too, is you're going to notice that our storage compartment is much larger on this one. And instead of my thread moving at the top, now the actual compartment comes out to the side from the bottom. And this is where you're going to find your accessory bag that's in there, but it's also a great place to keep anything that you may need, like double eyed needles, yes. things like that. So this is really handy. And we've actually put a little magnet on the I top. I love that yeah. little magnet. <laughs> Which a lot of people don't think of. Yeah, you need don't your needles. Lose, <laughs> because you don't lose your needle when you have that little magnet, you can stick it there. So right. those are a lot of great features. Again, we're building in the product line all of these machines essentially do the same thing. There are four thread overlock machines that also have all the fun stitches that you can do, whether it's narrow rolled hemming or a three thread narrow, three thread wide. It's all in there. There's also a beautiful blanket stitch that you can achieve. Yes. Just a lot of fun stitches, but when you move all the way up to the Acclaim, what you also have with that is the ability to do that wave stitch. Right. And so these three machines are really very nice if you're beginning to look at a serger to compare and contrast these. So Mike, before we go, is there any last thing that maybe I missed that we want to talk about? Well, you know, we didn't really miss it, but we didn't elaborate on it. We keep mentioning the fact that we have the ability to do flat locks, blanket stitch, that kind of thing. One of the things that's a big part of that is that we have to actually kind of trick out our machine a little bit, right? That's one of those things to where we're using two threads, but we have to make our machine think it's three. Now, how do we do that? Yeah, we do that with what we call a subsidiary looper. So I'm gonna open up the Celebrate, that's right here, because all of our machines have the same feature when it does do overlock stitching. What you have built into the machine is actually a subsidiary looper, which is going to pull out and then flip into place. And what this does is it covers up the hole for the upper looper, so you don't have to have thread in the upper looper. But it will do is allow you to still form a chain. This is the two thread stitching. I'm glad you remembered it, because Mike, that's a feature that's on all of our machines. Yeah. And I love it because for most other machine companies, you have to get your little accessory tray out and you have to find that little weird piece and you got to put it in there. And this is just built on, so that's a big convenience feature for 
for those of you that want to do that. It okay. really is. The other thing I will point out is we've never deducted anything as we moved yes. up the line, right? We've just continued to add, add, add. So the nice thing about this is if you start off somewhere in our lineup and later down the road, you decide you want to graduate up to the next level or maybe graduate all the way to the top of the line, all of those features that you've learned will carry forward with you. So you're not having to relearn what you've already learned, which yeah. I think that is just brilliant That's because a it's a wonderful way to kind of just jump right in and get your feet wet. Right? I agree. All right, so we're ready for the next tier of machines. And every one of these machines also has cover and chain stitch capability. And if you don't know what that means, you soon will. Now we're here with all of our machines that finish up the line that have cover and chain stitch capability in addition to overlock. And we have them set up in such a way that we want to demystify it. So Mike, do you want to explain? We can, yeah. So what we've done here, if you notice on our thread stands, we've introduced that hot pink thread like Linda mentioned before we left the last segment. And so you're gonna notice that we have four purple and four hot pink on our first two machines. And then on our last machine, we only have the four hot pink. What we've done is everything that constitutes working with our chain cover stitch, we've denoted that by adding the hot pink thread in the position that they would be on the thread stands. So if we're looking at our accolade and our triumph, you're gonna notice that we've actually increased the number of spools. We've increased from the four spools that we normally have to eight. So now we're leaving that 432 setup that we had before, and now we're on an eight thread serger. Now, when we get to the uh, euphoria down here, then we'll talk about that last, yeah. and we'll talk about how that's different. But let's start with the accolade, because yeah. the accolade is a big step up again from where we left off in the last segment. So do you want to talk a little bit about some of the wonderful features that are inside uh, of the accolade? Yeah, absolutely. I, I love a machine that's got this much capability. You know, <laughs> there used to be a commercial that was called the Certs Mint. It was two mints in one, but this is two machines <laughs> in one. And for somebody who has a small amount of space in your sewing room, you may not want a separate machine for overlocking and a separate machine for cover hemming. Now, if you do, we have you covered. But for somebody who's looking for just one machine that does all of it, you can begin with the Baby Lock Accolade. And so this is an eight thread serger and it does actually 87 different stitch combinations, uses a multitude of feet and attachments. And this is where you really can get to a lot of commercial application. And by that, I mean that we have attachments that will help you do belt loops, but yeah. you don't just use them for belt loops, you use them for all kinds of other things. You can do fabric weaving and such, and we've got a lot of projects about it, but this machine has five different needle positions. So as Mike was just mentioning, these three threads right here, and again, I wanna point out, this is a color-coded machine. So if you were to look down on top of the machine, you're gonna see that it says chain needle one, chain needle two, chain needle three, and then what we have is a corresponding thread mast up at the top where each one of the threads are going to go. And so here is where you begin looking at the machine in a different way. Now these four spools of purple thread, those are my standard overlock stitches. So let me draw your attention to the fact that I have my stitch selector knob. I'm going to open up my door because at this angle I can't see it. But my stitch selector knob right here has those letters A, B, C, and D. You probably even noticed that I also have my differential feed that goes all the way up here to gathering, down here to stretching my fabric out. I also have my same vertical needles. I also have my stitch width knob and my lower large knob that controls my stitch length. And so these things are all the same, but we've added to it. And that's where you really do end up getting a lot more creativity. Now, the Accolade is the first machine in the line that does both and it does it very, very well. And we've actually had this machine in our line under different names in the past for quite some time. It's our very first eight thread serger and it's been a real success for us. Right, and we want to talk that we're still going to carry through with our air threading on this as yes. well. But now you'll notice on the front that we have a different name. Yes. So you want to go by that? Yeah, extraordinary threading. And so we've already talked about jet air threading and we talked about revolutionary threading, but what is this extraordinary threading? Well, I'm going to open up the doors to show you that I can clean this area out as well. But when I open up this door over here, what you're gonna see is that I have the same electronic threading system. If I move this from surging to threading and then reach over and rotate my hand wheel, now my tubular looper is engaged so that it can blow through the thread. But what I don't have is I don't have the mechanism that can thread my needles. So what this system, extraordinary threading means is that you have this 
threading system, a motorized threading system for the loopers only. But we include a very cool needle threader and that's tucked away underneath this accessory compartment that's on all of our machines. We do, and it's not hard to learn how to use that either. Nope. It was one of those things, honestly, when I first started playing with it, I'm like, oh, now I've got to thread a needle. And now I'm just kind of like, okay, thread the needle and right. it's gone, right? But you know, we still love our automatic needle threaders, but that's okay too. Yeah, so we're talking about cover and chain stitching and you may be saying to yourself like, okay, but what is that? <laughs> if you ever put on a knit shirt or a bathing suit or you wear anything that is stretchy, you already know what that is. And that's that wide stitching, or it's a little bit closer together, and that's a cover stitch. And what this is really used well for, and that's why it's called a cover hem, is it hems your shirt, yeah. right? But it can also be used for all kinds of decorative purposes. And so we do have, for this machine as well, a wonderful inspirational guide, again, which really helps you understand how to set the machine up for those different stitches, but most importantly, where you would use them. So a cover hem can be done with three needles, with two needles that are widely spaced apart, are two needles that are closer together. You've got a lot of choices with them, and with them also comes different feet and attachments that you can use. Now, when we talk about a chain stitch, we're talking about using just one of these threads in conjunction with a chain looper. So when you're doing a cover hem, you're going to use any one of these threads, two of them, your choice of which two or all three, and you're gonna use a chain looper, and that's what is essentially your bobbin thread. But man, can you do a lot with a cover and chain stitch machine? You really can't. One of the other things I really wanna mention is, you know, the Sew at Home classes that we have. That's a wonderful library, as you mentioned before, it's well over a thousand videos. Because of the fact that we've already walked through three of our machines, we're walking through the final three here. One thing to know is that, say you decide you're going home with a Triumph, that doesn't mean just watch the Triumph videos. Oh no, you're That right. means go back and watch all of the videos prior to that because since the Triumph's the top of the line, and I know we haven't talked about that yet, but when you get to the top of the line, everything that was below it will apply to that as well. So even though you may see that there's only X number of Triumph videos, really there's a whole lot more than that because they're gonna be underneath the other names Certainly. as well. You're, you're exactly yeah. right. And then Mike, let's talk a little bit because like I think you all agree, it's a great quality product. They can do a lot, but who is somebody that would actually get great use out of it? And if you're not a sewer that's doing garments, is this really a machine for you? And what do you have to say to that? So I'm a quilter, I quilt a lot. And I will tell you right now, I can't remember the last time I pieced a quilt on my sewing machine. I actually piece my quilts on my serger and I will use both my chain stitch to yes. do my piecing. And I have to admit, I'll sometimes use my overlock to do my piecing as yes. well, just because of the fact that it's a clean finish. And one of the questions we get a lot about that is, if you are doing it to where you're what we call quilting by check, taking it to a long armor, how does the long armor feel about that? Well, I've got news for you, I'm a long armor too. And it's actually easier sometimes to long arm a surged quilt than it is to long arm a quilt that's been pieced because we're finishing off those edges if we're using overlock. If we're using the chain stitch, it's the exact same principle as if we were using our sewing machine. True. So and I, I do love yeah, and I do love this. This is your bobbin. Never runs out. <laughs> so if you've been looking for a machine where you don't have to stop to rethread the bobbin and wind another bobbin, guess what? Get a machine that does have cover and chain stitch capability because you could have 3,000 yard bobbin and that's gonna last you a long time. A while, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it will last you for a long yeah, time. Yeah, and even though now up here we've got cotton on, on, our, on our machines, but you could use polyester, you could use rayon, you could use whatever. So even though we've got the larger cones on here, our machines are adaptable to the standard cones or the standard spools as well. So just because we're showing it to you with the larger cones, doesn't mean you can't go use the smaller spools. And we actually have adapters that are coming with the machines to let them sit up higher yes. on here. You even get thread nets. So if yeah. I'm messing with something that's All a little bit harder. All the accessories that you need. So let's talk about this. So when we had the other three machines on the table, we were able to go through and say what the step up features were. Yeah. But if you can just follow along with me, I'd like to talk to you about the differences between the Acclaim and the Accolade, because I, I wanna bring it home. We don't have all of them on the table right now, but I think you'll remember as I'm pointing this out, we have this wave overlock stitch selector. So that does mean that we've got that step up stitch that we didn't have on the Celebrate or the Victory. But beyond that, 
we do have a little bit of a drop down, I would say maybe if you were looking at the type of threading for the machine, because this does not have the threading for the needles. However, it does have the motorized threading for the looper. So we always say we don't take anything away, but yes, what we don't have is that needle threading capability, but the needle threader is super easy to use. The next thing that I would tell you is it's about the same size of machine. You do have the ability to open up the door. You do have generous lighting on it, although it's not the same bright lighting that in the front but again you're getting all kinds of additional stitches so the big step up is cover and chain stitch 87 different stitch combinations a multitude of feet and attachments that can be used on the machine there's a lot and actually right behind me i have one of the um, accessory bags that have feet and attachments in it i'm just going to pull this over because when you buy a machine this is your future so the machine by itself without adding any additional feet or attachments you can do a lot with it but you add this well this changes everything because what it gives you is kind of production style capability you can sew over those strands of pearls. You can insert fishing line into a, a bridal veil or a dress that you're making. You can do lace. lace. You can yeah. do, we actually use the lace applicator foot when we do our um, chain piecing because yeah. it helps you do a perfect or a scant quarter inch piecing stitch and the list goes on and on. There's Elastic bias piece. binders, yeah, the, yeah, you name it. There's um, downturn fellers, it'll turn down the fabric. So a lot to see and all you have to do is jump out to the Baby Lock website because again, I like a machine that I can grow into. Right. I don't like anybody to tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> is anybody else like me or am I the only one? I don't like to be I told no. Okay, but, but that's what we're talking about when we're talking about a machine like the accolade so you can see it has the same system all of these same features i'm also going to point out this is a safety feature so the machine will not sew if this door is open that's an inherent feature on all of our machines that have this motorized threading system but when you are done looking at the accolade the next machine which is the top of the line is a triumph talk about the step up features oh my gosh so i'm going to be honest with you this is this machine i sew on every day i love it First of all, right off the bat, look at the size, right? When we look at the size and we're comparing it to what we've looked at so far, this is definitely my largest footprint, but because of the large footprint, we're getting a really good return on our workspace here. So we actually have five inches of clearance from the right of the needle. So that is a huge thing because we're still at an eight thread, right? So we have that chain cover stitch and we have our overlock stitch. The chain cover stitch, which you're gonna find if you've never played with chain cover stitches, a lot of times we do use those in the middle of projects yeah. or things. And I want you to talk about that because when we were looking at the Acclaim earlier yeah. and I kind of said, yeah, you've got that space to the side. There was about three inches. You're not really using it. Uh, you use it here. You do, yeah, because really and truly, like when we're starting to talk about our chain cover stitching, they are highly decorative stitches. They're functional stitches as well, but they're highly decorative stitches also. So when we're going through and we're looking at this, having this extra space over here really plays to our advantage. We're actually gonna be able to go in and you can roll your fabric and get yes. quite, I will tell you right off the bat, I've actually done twin and queen size quilts on yes. this to where I've used the chain and the cover stitch to do some embellishment on the quilt and been able to roll that in here with no problem. Yeah, it so, can be straight lines and you can even do curves, meandering, meandering lives. Yeah. So it really does work well for it. Yeah, and I think a lot of people don't think about our sergers for things like quilting, but it's not only that, bag making, if you're a big bag maker, doing things for kids, doing anything you can think of really. I mean, the sky's the limit. If you can think of it, chances be you can probably use your serger on it in some way, shape or form. Now, I'm not saying that everything can be done from completion on the serger yeah, at all times. You can't times. do buttonholes. You cannot do buttonholes. You cannot do buttonholes. I will figure that out one day. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> but so, I do believe yeah. that the Triumph represents really a, a truly wonderful experience. It would be a machine of a lifetime. And certainly a lot of people, they start with the machine um, below that, and then they add a machine like the Triumph. So let's talk about the threading system because yeah, we do we're have- we're back to Revolutionaire here. Yeah. And if you remember back when we talked about Revolutionaire, the difference between going from Extraordinaire to Revolutionaire is that when I open this up, I'm still gonna have my electric threading for my upper looper, my lower looper, my chain looper. But if we throw yeah. this into threading and turn our hand wheel, what you're gonna see yeah. is that Linda's gonna be yeah, able to see. drop our needle threaders over there. Yeah. There you go. And it comes down and then here's what you do. You pick, am I threading it for overlock stitches yeah. or am I threading it for cover and chain stitches? And then all I have to do is 
push that little motor and it'll send it where you want to go. I have to tell you, Mike, I was a retailer for a long time. And the only phone calls that I got about surgeries that people would have an issue with it, I'd have to say really nicely, um, it's something that you're doing. And it's yeah. because they're so easy. They'll say, well, my thread only went through one of the ports. I'm like, well, it's a jet air threader and you have to direct the air to the other port and then it'll go. Yeah. Or they had their upper looper selector down because they were doing cover and chain stitching. I'm like, my thread won't thread, it won't go <laughs> through. And I'm like, open up your machine. Is it laying in a puddle at the bottom? Yeah, well, you didn't engage. So the little things, but again, this is where our inspirational guides right. make a huge difference in your learning journey, that your relationship with your retailer. So I think sometimes people hesitate to buy something new because they think that the learning curve is going to be great. And they think that they're not going to really be, I mean, come on, like you guys are professionals. You do it all the time. I can't learn. <laughs> but we had to learn too. But not only that, I I have taught young children yes. how to be successful with the serger faster than than most adults because they have no fear. And this is the big secret. Speed control. Speed control. Yeah. So this is a big feature on here. And this is really nice because this literally limits how fast I can go. So we if we have it all the way over to the right, we're still up at that 1,500 stitches per minute. If we're over to the left, it goes a lot slower and crawls, no matter how heavy your foot is, right? right? So I love this, especially if I'm doing something where I'm using specialty threads or I'm kind of dealing with maybe a little bit of a fussy fabric. Yeah. This is a there great way to use fabrics. it. Yeah. So this is great. The other thing that we're gonna say here on this one that I love, and this is another safety feature, is the Triumph will not stitch with the presser foot up. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when the presser foot is up. So he's gonna raise it. From, from the perspective of the sewer, it still looks like it's down, but it's not, it's up. But it's going to alert you and it won't allow you to sew. That's a wonderful feature to have in the machine. These little ports here on the side, this is what allows you to use those really thick, thick heavy yeah. threads. You know, these machines are really designed with the sewer in mind, somebody who really wants to explore creativity and quite frankly, get their money's worth right. out of the machine, which Absolutely. is a big deal to me. So we've been talking about our chain cover stitch and the one thing we haven't really talked about is that we have an accessory that goes with our machine that actually is specifically for our chain cover stitch. So I'm gonna kind of reach up here and if you'll do the same on your okay. machine, this is actually called our knife cover. Right, and if I pull this off and you pull yours off, it's just a little uh, tension pinch down here at the bottom. Right. And if we kind of pull it to the front, you'll see that we have a little area here that covers our knives. And you'll also see that we have some measurement markings and things on here that you can learn about from any of our educational videos right. of how to use those. But if we both reach back, I think we've got our tables back here. I've got my, yeah. okay, let's look at them side by side. This tells a story, <laughs> it does, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, this because we're talking about how much room we have on that machine versus how much room we have yep. on this machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by actually lowering our upper looper because when we're using our chain cover stitch, we don't need our upper and lower yep. looper. Leave so we're going to go down. ahead and turn that. We're going to take it off the threading, rotate the handle toward us until that upper looper recesses down. Then you could put it in threading if you wanted to. If you're going to go to threading, you don't have to. But now you'll notice that that upper looper is kind of snugged away in there. I'm going to take and yeah. Raise this up just Yeah, a do you need bit. help, Mike? I know, I'm kind of reaching all the way you across the table. You are reaching all the way across the table. I'll hold up if you push Teamwork <laughs> there you makes go. the dream work. Watch That's your right. fingers. Okay. So now that we have that on there, you see that we have this really yeah. nice area. It's yeah. our threader. There's our safety feature. Our safety feature. So now we can actually go in and we have a sewing table for that chain cover. So that's what people ask all the time. Like, should I really go for the Triumph or should I stay with the Accolade? And this is where we were talking right away about take your fabric to the store and try it out. Like you don't know what you don't know. Right. And so it may very well be that you don't need this extra space. You know, the type of sewing that you see yourself doing for the foreseeable future may not need that space. But if you have it, I promise you, you'll use it. And this, that's a big white surface. And let's talk about the holes. Yes. <laughs> so if you notice, whenever we were holding the tables up and comparing the two, over on the Accolade, we've got two holes. Over yes. on the Triumph, we have four. The reason for that being is, is we have accessories that we yes. can actually use with these machines. Again, we're not bringing out all the accessories to talk about them here, but we do have that listed on our website. Right. It'll show you what works. But one of the things that's really nice about our Triumph is we've brought in some accessories that previously only worked on our chain cover stitch machines. Now they'll work on our Triumph. Right. So if you don't know what our chain cover stitch machine is, that's what this is sitting next to me. We'll talk about that in a second. But the one thing let's talk about too is the ease of changing our feet on this because as we go in and yes. we start using our feet, yeah. I'm gonna raise my presser foot and then you'll notice Linda's just gonna push a little button on the back of the ankle there and the foot just pops off. 
to put a new foot on. You just slide it from the side. Yep. And notice that I have this little bit of play. This is really important, right? Because I can actually push up and get it to go up a little bit higher. And But I'm going to show something else before I do that, Mike. And I'm going to take this foot actually off of this machine as well. I'm going to reach around here. We're not in the most convenient uh, okay. positions, are but, we? <laughs> but this is a big story about baby lock machines in general. And so that is that even on something as simple as the foot, so this is the Triumph and this is the one for the Accolade, there are some slits here on the standard foot. And this is where you can feed in twill tape or ribbon, ribbon yep. or a clear elastic, and you can build the stay for shoulders. So if you've ever looked at the way that commercial garments are made, they take full advantage of using some things that will give your garment longevity a and a professional look it really does look nice we've thought of everything it's actually built into the feet themselves and so that's what these little holes are it's not because you need air <laughs> to go through the foot because it's so so fast it's really to put to put well, that's uh, why something it's there different no, it is kidding. there it's your hydroplaning <laughs> with hydroplane. the surgeons well we should also point out too since you pointed that out on our feet on the general foot which is the bl foot which is what this one is right. you'll notice that each one of our our needles have a demarcation on the foot as well Yes. So when we're Thank stitching you. with certain needles, we know exactly where to line our fabric up so that that needle goes right. directly into that position. Yeah. So what Mike is talking about is these little registration marks. So if you were the sewer, you'd be looking right at this foot and you could right. see, well, my goodness, that just lines right up with that different needle, which really and truly, those are the little tips that make you a great, great. sewer yeah. because you get things to go where you want them to go. These are all very well thought out. I love all these features on it. And you can see my knife is tucked up because mm -hmm. I would definitely put you him downstairs if I was going to yep. do I can't help it. But okay, so now the Euphoria and the Triumph, they look a lot alike. Well, that's because <laughs> they are a lot alike, <laughs> right? Lot so alike. basically what we've done here is we've taken what you're familiar with on the Triumph and we've removed the overlock side of the Triumph so that we wind up with just a chain cover stitch machine. So if we go back to our color story with our threads, you're gonna yeah. notice back on the Accolade and the Triumph, yeah. we had purple and pink. Now I only have pink. So the three pinks that you see over on the left-hand side of these two machines are the first three that I see here. This would be my chain looper. So, so see what we just did there? We made it really easy for you to discern. So if you're at a Baby Lock retailer store, hopefully yeah. they're putting their machines on the floor with two different colors. It doesn't have to be pink and purple. It can be any two colors. But when you see this, don't let it intimidate or confuse right. you because all this means is you've got the two machines in one. You get to have dual personalities. You don't have to make a choice. And over here with the Euphoria, now what you have is just a machine that just can chain cover, cover chain. Yeah. So how do you use a machine when it's just cover and chain? Uh, there's so many ways it's impossible to sit here and say, but for the most part, one of the things that you'll see is that people who do a lot of garment construction and the type of stitching that's associated with garment construction, they may find it easier to have a separate overlock machine and a separate cover chain stitch machine because in one garment, you'll find both types of stitches. So even though on our combination machines, which is what we would refer to right. our eight threads, it's very simple to go from one stitch to the other. Right. If we're mass producing or we're doing a lot of sewing in a day to where we're switching back and forth, if you've got that real estate, yeah. it's nice to have both or machines. Or if you're just a spoiled brat, <laughs> like me, I like to have two separate yeah. machines. Now, the big drawback is you have to have eight cones of the same color thread if, in fact, you're trying to match everything. Right. But really and truly, it's a seamless, that's a sewing term, it's there a seamless go, way of going from one technique to the next because that's truly what's happening is you're going from one technique to the next. And I love that we've got a lot of different choices. So the Euphoria as a cover stitch only machine looks a lot like the Triumph. But if I was looking for a separate, let's just say, for example, somebody who's watching this is like, I've already got a great baby lock serger. And yeah, I like cover hem capability. That sounds like a good solution. Do you agree just buying uh, that as a separate machine? Absolutely, yeah. If you've already got a combination machine and you find yourself really doing a lot of maybe just your overlock on that machine just because maybe you just don't find the time to go in and switch it over to cover chain, say maybe you jump over onto your sewing machine to do a straight stitch. I could go over to, and get a individual cover chain stitch machine <laughs> give myself that added ability to do cover stitching, right? Because yeah. a chain stitch sort of emulates a straight stitch. Yes. It's a little bit different, but 
to get that actual cover stitch, I'm going to need a cover chain stitch machine. I can't emulate that with my sewing machine, at least not very easily. Yeah, and right? the one other thing that I would say is that I think that of all the stitches that we've used decorative thread on in the office, the one stitch that I think is the most beautiful with decorative is actually a chain stitch. It's a single needle yeah. with heavy decorative thread in the chain looper. It doesn't even look like what you think it would be. I've seen very effective ways of quilting, actually thread painting, so to speak, on a big piece of fabric, Absolutely. and then you can cut out your pattern so you're making your own fabric. You well, can do some beautiful and things. And the really cool thing about a, a chain cover stitch, both, is that they're two-sided and two different looks. Yes. So if I'm looking at the top of a chain stitch or a cover stitch, it has one look to it. If I flip that over, it's a completely different look. So where I place my decorative thread becomes a big important thing as well. So there's a lot of techniques that you can do with this. I think hopefully one of the things you're seeing as we've gone through this is that most people think of sergers as utilitarian only, and they're really not. They are so much more than just utilitarian machines. Yeah. But one of the things about the Euphoria that you'll notice is that it does look exactly like the Triumph except for the thread setup. And when we look at what's in here, it's gonna look very similar to the same features that we have here. So if we look, you're gonna notice down here, we have that extraordinary threading. So the reason for that being is, is if I pull this open, you'll still see that we have the electric threading for our chain looper. And again, that's the only looper that we have because it doesn't have overlock. But then as far as our actual needle goes, we have a little bit of a different setup. So I'm gonna make sure that this is in threading, yeah. make sure my tubers are locked and I'm gonna push this down and you'll notice that it does drop down yeah, just it. like, but it is a different system because we're on a chain cover stitch machine. We have three needles, not yes. five. And so here we have to assign what needle we're gonna be going into. So it is a little bit of a different threading system. Yeah, but it's a great so threading easy. system. So you just lift that up, mm -hmm. it pops up pretty easily. And then if you look, there's a little slider. So you get to pick which needle, C1, C2, or C3, it directs it. You could do it as a single hand because yeah. it pauses there. So you can just tuck the thread across it and it pulls it back through. So as I'm looking at these machines, obviously from the Triumph to the Euphoria, we're losing all of the four thread features. Right. But if I wanted to have two separate machines and I had the Euphoria, what would be your pick for a four thread machine to fill in that other side? I would definitely go with the Acclaim, which was the top of the last set of machines that we had True. sitting here because that's gonna give me all of the features that we've been talking about up to a certain point with ease of use, all of that. But then when you combine the two machines together, we're basically yeah you're not losing anything triumph. right you're not, you're not losing, losing the yeah. wave stitch you're not losing that bright white light that comes right. down here and you then end up having everything so i've really enjoyed going through all of the different machines and seeing the differences. And I hope that as you've been watching, Mike and I discuss some of this and, and seeing a lot of the activities and the, the samples that the machines can create, it starts to help you understand what you can do and what the real potential is of a baby lock serger in your sewing room. And I really think that no matter where you end up in the line, just know this, that you're buying a superior quality product that is meant to last for years. And there's going to be a lot of support for you all over the place. So any other parting words on these machines other than there are accessory foot kits available for all of them. There are inspirational guides, there's video, there's our retailers, there's inspiration everywhere. I really find that I can't do any real sewing without my serger next to me because I've gotten so accustomed to it. How about you? Oh, I'm the same way. I, I search, every time I sew, I search. Yeah. Which is pretty normal, you know? I mean, I think that once you get a serger, that becomes the norm. But why don't we do this? Why don't we get the entire line back up here and go through and show it off one more time, and then we'll wrap up and say goodbye. So there you have it. I'll bet you feel like you really have learned a lot. It's been fun. It has, it's been a blast. And I absolutely love talking about our machines because not only are we the people that train on these machines and we sell these machines, but we're users of these machines, right? We truly are, Mike. I know that for any of you that are watching that have probably gotten to a place where you're thinking, yeah, I do think of baby lock surgeries in my future. This is our invitation to you. Grab the fabrics that you have at home that you sew on most of the time. And wouldn't you say, Mike, yeah. get in front of a machine, check out where your local baby lock retailer is because they're the ones that are gonna help you when it's ultimately said and done, they're the ones that are gonna help you figure out exactly which is the best machine for you and what are the products maybe you need to take with you when you buy your machine. Absolutely. And there's never a better idea than sewing on what you normally sew on. Yeah. So taking your fabrics is a great recommendation there. But 
Make friends with that Baby Lock retailer. They're gonna be your retailer for life. They're gonna help you. They're going to extend all of that extra training, the extra education. They're there to support you, right? Yeah. And we love our retailers. So go talk to them. Let them give you the demo. We have some wonderful demos that we do on our chargers and stuff. But most of all, test drive those machines and see what all they can do for yeah. sure. So there's a lot to see in a baby lock. And just remember this, that once you're a part of our family, you're a part of a huge community of people that not only love to sew, but love to share what they do. So be sure to remember to check out our babylock.com website where you can find mm -hmm. a lot of inspiration and projects to put your new machine to use. You can also check out our baby lock serger communities, follow us on YouTube and be a part of the conversation. It'll change your life. It certainly did mine. Absolutely. And keep those machines running. All right, have fun. See you next time. Bye. Oh my goodness. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. So hang tight. We've got uh, some more to show you. Uh, thanks to Mike Johns and Linda Pacini for making that amazing presentation. They're so good. They are so good. They have uh, uh, an excellent way to explain things. So we've got a lot of comments. So thank you all for commenting. If you're still watching, uh, feel free to comment and because we're about to give away a $50 gift card to the store. And we will watch the comments later. So if you're watching this presentation later, we are going to do another, and um, we will contact you if you win. So we will continue to um, do another giveaway probably in the next couple days. So if you're watching this later, never fear, you may win, still win a prize. Uh, so show quickly some of the things that they were talking about. They talked about a lot, oh, yeah. uh, but they the samples that we have here in the store are really Will special. really so, help you see what yeah. the sergers can do. Yeah. Here's a serger cover that I made, and this is the edge that I made with the wave stitch. It's a binding, basically, that I made, just ran it through the serger. This is another example of how the bug either side of this is a cover stitch on one side it looks like three machine stitches but on the bottom side you put decorative thread and it's a decorative feature yes you can quilt I quilted this whole serger cover on the serger this is the chain stitch on one side it looks like a sewing machine stitch on the other side it's a decorative stitch if you put a decorative thread in there mm -hmm. I made the piping for this serger cover I made the piping on my serger, and I inserted it with the serger. Yes. There was not a sewing machine used anywhere on this cover. So what else can you do with the serger? We have, I have, there's a tennis shoe behind me. What is that? I made the shoelaces on my serger. <laughs> Aren't those cute? That bright, fun fabric. Nobody else has got shoelaces That's like this. That's made with the belt loop binder yeah, on yeah. the Triumph serger, right? Yeah, right. So it's an attachment that you add to your serger. Uh, and so we are, as we speak, we've got a bucket of eight thread serger feet. Um, so come take a look at the serger feet that are on sale. We can't advertise them because we've lowered some of them 50% off. Uh, okay, show me some other stuff. All right, decorative thread. You can do the most gorgeous things with decorative thread on a serger. Yes. It will handle that fat fat. This is pearl crown rayon. Look at that edge on that. Would that so be pretty. beautiful on so a quilt pretty. or a table mm -hmm. runner? You can attach binding with the serger belt loop binding. That I mean, is made loop. with the new attachment that goes on the Triumph and the Ovation, right? I used the table. The new and table. I, and I the put the table. attachment on there so that I could do two things. I could attach the binding mm -hmm. and put this decorative thread. All this happened in one pass through the serger. Wow. Super cool. Okay, this is a serger quilt. This is a sampler quilt. This is not the class that's coming up, but some of the techniques that are in there. So this class is all done. This quilt was made on the serger. On a four thread serger. What? Yeah. So look, here's your serger crochet. Here's ruching, here's pin tucks, here's uh, ladder, uh, uh, ladder stitch. Can, Can they see that? Yeah. 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 All of these techniques were done on the serger. Lace insertion. Yeah. Piping. Speaking of um, piping and lace insertion, you can do a lot of heirloom things. So it's kind of heirloom season since we just had Easter, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So check out this um, heirloom pillow. So this was a class that Leanne did, and it is, they she did lace insertion, and look at those pin tucks. Yeah, and that's gorgeous. Those pin tucks, um, 
are very easy to do on a surgery. Mm -hmm. If I can do it, anybody. There's can do a it. foot for there's that a foot purpose. For that. Yeah. It's kind of like there's an app for that. There's yeah. a foot for that. So check out this heirloom dress. It was completely constructed on the serger. Is this not the most precious thing you've ever seen? Uh, look at the, um, what is this stitch called? This really pretty, is that a chain stitch? I can't see what Sorry, you're Sorry, the little chain stitch Yes, that's here. a chain stitch, chain stitch with okay. decorative thread. With the decorative thread. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this is one of the many things you could do with a serger. What about this? We created this apron. This was a class that we did. This was an event class. We inserted the zipper in the pocket. We constructed it and the candy cane stripe at the top is a wave, wave stitch. stitch. So do you see cool? this stripe uh, that is two different colored of the heavier weight thread mm -hmm. to create the wave stitch? So which machines can do the wave stitch? The Acclaim. Yes. The Triumph. Yes. Now the 55th anniversary. And now the new 55th anniversary, the new surgery can right. do the wave stitch. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We found some of the feet we were looking for. <laughs> Uh, what is this called? Okay, so this is a stitch, a decorative stitch. Yeah, it's just a four thread overlock. What? Yeah. So you do this with a four thread serger? Yeah. yeah. And create a um, and put heavy a weight zipper thread. pouch. Look at this. This is a four thread overlock. What? Yeah. And what kind of thread is that? This is uh, probably a 12 weight metallic thread. So that was done with the So a lot of these things you can do with the four thread serger. And then some, you have to have the eight thread capability, the cover stitch, chain stitch ability. The best, one of the best things to do, make napkins. Napkins. And look at this beautiful rolled edge hem. Yes. That's done. Any of our sergers will do that rolled edge hem, and it's yeah. so easy and perfect. That is the simplest thing. So that's probably the number one thing that people want to do is they want to do that beautiful rolled edge. Mm -hmm. And so the baby like sergers do it. Seamlessly, they flawlessly. Do. They do. Okay, so this was a table runner that you created. And so, mm -hmm. what is that green meander stitch that runs through there? That's What's a that chain called? stitch. That's the bottom side of a chain stitch with decorative thread in it. Okay, and so I see you There's put a, a flat lock Show me chain flat lock. stitch right here. So it looks like the wave stitch. Mm -hmm. It is a wave stitch. It's a flat lock wave stitch. So it's different than the one you put on the edge of something, it's okay. something you put on the top of something. Okay. Yeah, speaking of that wave stitch, one time we did um, baby blankets and we donated them to charity. And we did 13 baby blankets. We got a single layer of double gauze, mm -hmm. which is a, makes a beautiful baby blanket. A swaddling. A swaddling cloth mm -hmm. type material. Mm -hmm. And all we did, we embroidered them all, of course. Uh, and then we just ran the wave stitch around the perimeter of a single layer of double gauze. And it made the most exquisite baby gift. They were gorgeous. Gorgeous. They really, if yes. I do say so. <laughs> what is that? This is an example of using bead a beading foot to put beading on something. Isn't that great? How great is that? Yeah, the okay. foot does all the work. Yeah. This is serger crochet with a variegated thread. So all of that was created with the serger. So that's going to be one of the classes that's coming up. Look at this napkin that I made. Look at that edging on the napkin for Christmas. Isn't that? The red and green just makes it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Speaking of that class, real fast, let me show you. This is the, the first one's already happened, but you can jump in anytime. This is a, you can have any baby lock serger. The log cabin block is April the 20th. The serger crochet class is May the 18th. And then the catch up and the assembly is June the 2nd. So uh, each class is $45. You can jump in anytime and take those classes. You don't have to make a quilt. You don't have to make a table runner. You can learn the techniques and then make your own creation. Right. Yeah. Uh, what else have you done here? Is this all the things we've shown? Yep. You showed everything? Yep. I think okay. so. All right. So real fast, let's run through uh, and we'll do the giveaway. Let's do one giveaway. Let's do and one then now. Yep. Let's do one real quick. Okay. Right. The This we'll give away later. Okay. We'll give away the um, mug. It's a really nice mug. Let's give away um, a belt bag. How about another belt bag? Yeah. I love these. Okay. They're tool bags, too. You can walk around with your tools on your hip. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So pick a number between 1 and 10. We haven't done 4. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Lisa Giratana, yeah. you won a belt bag. How fun. It pays to watch and it pays to comment because we do these giveaways pretty frequently. I'm okay, put your name on it. I'm going to go through the specials now. real quick and show you what is on sale. So some of the sales we can't publish. You've got to come in and see. But um, we have the Triumph Serger. 
it's on sale for $4,999 and you get a $500 rebate. That is a Visa gift card. Okay. And that is the you lowest price you will Visa ever. You get a Visa gift card, $500 Visa gift card when you buy a Triumph Surger. And I'm giving away some other stuff with it. I can't even remember what I'm giving away. Um, this is just during, na during National Surger Month. Okay. There is a $250 rebate when you purchase this um, Accolade mm -hmm. Surger during National Surger Month. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's on sale for $34.99 and you get a $250 rebate as well as an inspirational guide. I may be giving away a foot kit. Uh, and there's financing specials. So if you want interest-free financing, you just got to come apply for a, um, you're cleaning up. I know, okay, because I, I keep rolling over your stuff <laughs> with my chair. <laughs> Zero percent interest financing on all baby lock surgeries, depending on which surgery you get, depending on how long. But we will do a zero percent financing on all baby lock surgeries. You just apply for your. You may already have a sewing and more card. Mm -hmm. uh, come in where you can apply for that. Mm -hmm. uh, the new fifty fifth anniversary surgery. You get all this free stuff. You get the. Um, uh, new thread pack. I mean fabric pack. Yep. Fab sweet feet. Fat sweet mm -hmm. scenes. Fat quarter fabric pack yes. and the inspirational guide for yeah. free and that's just um till the end of april and then the koala cabinet that you talked about wow 20 percent off 20 percent off the koala cabinet it's so nice so nice it's uh custom ordered mm -hmm. so you pick your color and you custom order that yep uh there's a rag quilt class coming up i forgot to mention this yesterday this is a rag quilt class that is this saturday if you want to know, learn to make a rag quilt this has nothing to do with surgers but i needed to comment on this because I forgot to mention it yesterday. I'm sorry, Brooke. Brooke is doing this class April 13th. 13th. So that's not this Saturday. It's the next Saturday. Yeah, so. Okay. That's good to know. I've got some time to talk about it. So this, if you want to learn how to make a rag quilt, this is not a real quilt. This is a rag quilt and it is the best, most satisfying project <laughs> you could ever make. This is, and Brooke takes it to a next level. So you need to come take her class if you're at all interested in using flannel to make a a quilt. Yes. This is rag quilt techniques. Make great gifts. Yeah, and don't forget tomorrow we have the So Fun Club. If you haven't signed up for this and you are not coming to So Fun Club, you are missing out. It's fifteen dollars for class, uh, and April the fourth. That is tomorrow. It is all about straps. If you have not come to a So Fun Club. Uh, we do a show and tell, meaning you bring a show and tell everybody that comes and then you get entered to win a door prize if you come to the show and tell uh, and bring something that you've sewn. It's got to be something you've sewn. A lot of people bring things that they've embroidered and sewn. So that's great, too. Uh, it, it's way fun. I get inspired by the things that people make and I'm like, oh, I have to make that now. I know. Oh, and then this is Brooke's other class that I forgot to mention yesterday. It doesn't have anything to do with do a surging, but this is a um, string, quilt. string quilt and that is June the 8th. And this okay. is a very fun, yeah. satisfying quilt. You got quilt some time to sign up for that as yeah. well. Okay, so don't miss these upcoming classes. The most important one is the Serger Quilt Series. And you don't have to make a quilt. You can make whatever you want into uh, whatever you want. It's, it's about learning the techniques. Right. Okay, April 20th is the next one. Right. So y'all come see us, National Serger Month. Oh, wait, let's do let's, away our giveaway. You give 50. away this? No, that's one I'm going to give away later. Okay, all right. I'm going to give away the mug. Uh, she's trying to give this away. I'm going to give this away to those that are watching later because I know some people are at work and they're not supposed to be uh, watching right now. Uh, uh, uh. And so they'll be watching later. And so I'll comment. So we're going to comment. Keep commenting. This. $50 gift card to the store. You can use towards anything you want, just not classes because uh, all the instructor fees, all the class fees go to the instructor. So, okay. Pick a number between 1 and 10, please. Let's do 10. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Margaret Taylor. Oh, I'm just it. Margaret Fultz Taylor. Um, and she says, "Wish I could make so fun club, just can't work it in." Oh, we're gonna miss you, Margaret. Man, maybe Cindy, your sister, can come. <laughs> All right, Margaret, you want a fifty dollar gift card to the store? How exciting! It'll be at the cash register yeah. with your name on it. Don't miss out on getting that. Um, Wida, thanks for watching. She said, I enjoyed the session. Thank you, Wida. Um, Sandra says, I learned so much. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> oh, and Cindy, I hate it. Cindy, you won something else earlier, didn't she you? She did. She, I could spend that gift card 50 times <laughs> over, LOL. <laughs> um, 
This is a great question because Sandra's asking if it's virtual. The Serger series is not virtual. It is an in-person class. It is very hands-on. Leanne, our instructor, is right there with you every step of the way. And so it's a hands-on class here in the store. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Uh, this is all things Serger revealed. So go back. If you have any questions, you can rewind this Facebook post. Yeah. It's also on YouTube, so you can rewind and uh, watch this again later if you have any questions. Because you saw the different varieties of of baby luck surgers and all the things that they can do. Uh, it's remarkable. We love y'all. Thanks for being part of our family. Uh, we'll see y'all soon. Thank Bye you. everybody. Bye.